Nissan has just launched the new 2019 X-Trail facelift here in Malaysia. There are four variants on offer, so let's take a closer look at the entire range. For a few years, the Nissan X-Trail was the best-selling car in its class, and it's easy to see why. It's got handsome looks, practical interior, and for a long time, it was the only car in the class to have seven seats. For 2019, it gets a long list of upgrades, including a brand new hybrid variant. Prices start at 140,000 ringgit for the base model, and it goes up by 10,000 ringgit at each step. 150,000 ringgit for the 2.0 mid, 160,000 ringgit for the 2.5 four-wheel drive, and 170,000 for the flagship hybrid. On to styling, the facelifted X-Trail gets a much deeper, much bolder front face, featuring a new V-motion grille that goes deeper and wider than before. Where the fog lamps used to be round, they are now much longer, drawing your eyes towards the center, making it look wider than before. The headlamps are also new, now with a slight kink on the bottom line, and the details are really nice, especially these new twin LED projectors. Around the back, this car gets a new shark fin antenna, tail lamps with much darker lenses, and a bigger diffuser area with a chrome line on it. Overall, everything adds up to make it look more premium than ever before. All four variants look practically identical to each other. But the base 2 liter is the only car to have silver instead of dark grey titanium 17-inch wheels, as well as halogen reflectors instead of twin LED headlamps. The 2.5 and hybrid variants get a fully glassed-in front logo to house its active safety radars, plus their own customary badges. These being SUVs, practicality is of course extremely important, but thankfully the x kicks it up a notch by having a motion sensor-activated powered tailgate, one of the first in the class. This is standard on most of its range, except for the base 2-litre model. Once open, you get access to a low and wide load bay, and you get 550 litres of space. Again, one of the biggest in the class. You also get a small little compartment over here for hidden items, and you can also store your tonneau cover when not in use. This is also a seven-seater, so if you pull up the last row seats, your boot is gonna get a little bit limited. But then again, should be enough for a weekend backpack or two. This is only for the petrol variant, however. The hybrid's a little bit different. The hybrid battery is placed underneath the boot floor in place of the last two seats. So this is strictly a five-seater instead of a seven-seater. The boot floor has also been raised a fair bit, cutting into space. There's just over 400 litres of space left here. But on the bright side, there is still this big hidden compartment to store your smaller items. And just like all X-Trail models, there is a spare tyre underneath the boot floor. So while the hybrid may be a little bit compromised compared to the rest of the range, in terms of the class, it's still above average. The battery at the back powers a full hybrid system up front. The main propulsion comes from a 2-litre direct injection engine making 144 horsepower and 200 newton meters of torque. But on top of that is a powerful electric motor adding on an extra 41 horsepower and 160 Nm. So this is a full hybrid unlike the mild hybrid in the Serena and it can even run on full electric power at low speeds. Nissan claims this is one of the most fuel-efficient cars in the class making over 16 kilometers per litre. The rest of the range carry over the same old engines as before. The 2-litre direct injection makes 144 horsepower and 200 newton meters of torque, while the 2.5 MPI makes 177 horsepower and 236 newton meters of torque. All engines are paired with an improved and more robust version of Nissan's own Xtronic CVT gearbox. But above all else, the biggest difference is in the safety department. While the old x only had two airbags across the entire range, here even the basic model has four. Everything else has the full six airbags. Even the 2-litre mid variant adds on blind spot assist and lane departure warning. While the two top models add on AEB, autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control and automatic high beams to put them near the top of the class. On to the dashboard, the basic architecture remains the same as before because this is merely a facelift. But it does have quite a few upgrades to keep it in line with the newer Nissan models. The biggest change, of course, is the new steering wheel with the flat bottom and it feels fairly sporty behind the wheel. And then there's this piece here which is leather padded together with a knee pad, but these two are only on the top two models. 
Moving on, there's the new electric parking brake which replaces the old foot brake and then there's the new screen. Finally, a proper Nissan unit that replaces the old, you know, locally sourced item. It looks good, it supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and there's also a volume knob which is always a good thing. On top of all that, the build quality is really good. The entire top half of the dashboard is fully covered in nice and soft plastics. Fit and finish is top notch, I've got nothing to complain. And as usual with an X-Trail, the seats are very very comfortable. Specs wise, all models are fairly well equipped, including a dual zone climate control and a 360 degree parking camera. Only the base model loses out on the front powered seats and leather upholstery. For rear passengers, it's all really really good. The seats are comfortable, very supportive, and in terms of space, just check it out. I can't ask for more. You also get your own rear aircon vents and a large rear window. And plus, check it out, the rear seats. You can also slide it forward, backwards, and recline the backrest. But this is only for the petrol variants, only because the hybrids have a fixed backrest. That's a five-seater, by the way. But to be honest, that's not such a bad thing because the X-Rail works better as a five-seater rather than a seven-seater. The plus two seats in the back are better meant for kids rather than adults. So clearly, the 2019 X-Rail brings about significant upgrades across the entire range. And that's both on the outside and what's under the skin. What do you think of the new range? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.